fine. And eight, seven or eight lads surrounded him, asked him for where they're going. Got to pull the machete out to help her, where are you going? I'll be like that, nowhere. So he's gone, give me your phones, I'll be didn't have a phone. They've patted him down, took two phones off his friend, his other friend threw it back at him because it was a crappy phone. And they asked him he's going, the kids, they've got a, the end of a gun, it out for here, he's got a big black eye, he's had his friend on the head, his other friend's busted his nose, and give his other friend a belt, who's not the other phones by then. No reason to belt them, but they are belting them all by then. And just after school, that's yeah. Yeah, uh, after two in the afternoon. Ridiculous. There's four of them as well, they're on their own. And how do you feel about the turnout today? Oh, I feel really good. Even I'm remembering the way the support man, the messages, you know, people saying I was out for you and all that. Yeah. Really good. And that's what I've said, it's not a bad place to live, Blakely. You just get the odd idiot, don't you? Who ruins it for everybody. You know, kids getting attacked, walking over from school, out, going out with their friends, on the bikes, getting the bikes taken off them, people going out walking the dogs, getting dogs taken off them. Um, Residents contacted me about an attack on children leaving uh, school last week, and so I contacted Greater Manchester Police. It was very disturbing. There were young men, 17, 18, 19, some of them were Asian, some of them were uh, white, they had a machete and a gun, possibly a BB gun. They stole phones hit one of the children. It's a very frightening experience and so I've asked for extra police resources. Greater Manchester Police have put on extra uh, uniformed and non-uniformed police officers till the end of term and they're investigating, trying to find who the perpetrators were so they can arrest them and charge them. What are your feelings about today's protest? I think it's fantastic. We've never had uh, this many people on the street before about a uh, single issue. And this has been building for a while because uh, there's been police cuts for the last 10 years now. And uh, we've lost local officers. We lost our own police station in the world at Plan Hill. And people are fed up with it, to be quite honest. They, they expect to see police in the area. They expect that when they ring want to report things that gets dealt with and that hasn't been happening and people are fed up and just about you said this. So we've been having our own war with people in power to try and get something done but it only works when people come out and say it's an issue. It only works when people report stuff that's happening. So we've got two things. It's one to get the high ups to listen to us. The other thing is to encourage our own residents to report crime when it happens because that's how we get the resources that we need. So many out and out today. You know, the issue is just brought, brought them out because people, children need to be safe and they should be safe. Why are you not going to be safe if they're not school? You know, walking to and from home. So, say the number of people just shows you the depth that people feel about it. It's that when things get reported, they have to be acted on. They can't just go into a call centre and, and nothing happens. Or it, it gets recorded somewhere. That, that if, if people feel that, that reporting crime when it happens has an effect, then they'll do it. If they think nothing happens, they won't report it. And then if it doesn't get reported, there's no crime. As far as like GMP's figures go, we haven't had any recorded crimes. So we don't have to do anything. In fact, stuff's happening, but people are fed up. The 
most effective arm of the police force is, is the people. If residents and the police are talking and they seem to be talking and in the area, that's the only way we can solve it. One of the things that gets missed is what, what the police would talk about as a low level crime. So it's the kind of things that would be minor about antisocial behaviour, but that's the stuff that adds up. Because what we want is people to feel safe where they live. We feel safe when they go for a walk and feel safe when they go to the park. So it's like all of the smaller things, it could be a speeding car, it could be someone hanging around that's intimidating people, it all adds up and you need a kind of joined up police approach to deal with it. it, it what we want is for people to feel safe where they live, that, that's the main thing. And this is about people coming out and saying we don't feel safe at the moment and we have to do better. We have to do better, we do our best, but we still have to do better. Thank you.